Hello guys, this is What About Nintendo, and today I am here for another Smash Theory video. Last video, we talked about my ideas for a Breath of the Wild stage. I had two really good ideas, in my opinion. I'm a little biased because I made them up, but I thought they were really good. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out right over there with the eye. But if you have seen it today, we are going to talk about my ideas for a Splatoon themed stage. We know the Inglings are coming to Smash. I've already made my video on how they'll play, so check that out as well if you haven't seen it. But in this video, we're going to talk about a stage based on Splatoon because that is inevitably coming to Super Smash Brothers. But it's going to be awesome. So let's get right on into it. So coming up with an idea for Splatoon 2 stage was very interesting. At first I just had the idea of just using Inkopolis Plaza or Inkopolis Square uh, from either Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2, but I couldn't really think of any ways to make the stage feel more unique other than just some cool background details and stuff like that. So I came up with the idea that you would actually switch between multiple different Splatoon 2 stages. Obviously not every uh, stage can be represented from Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2 as there are far too many stages, but here are five that I think would fit the most and be the most unique. First off, Inkopolis Square. Wait, 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 yeah I know I just said that Inkopolis Square wouldn't be that unique, and that's true. It's also not even really a stage, uh, so it doesn't fit either of the points I just mentioned. But Actually, it does, because this is the first thing you see when you go into Splatoon 2. It is essentially the first stage that you're greeted with upon arrival after loading up the game. Also, I said it wouldn't be that interesting only because I couldn't figure out ways to make this particular part interesting by itself. Combined with other stages, I think this could be a really good one to f put into the lineup. While the stage itself wouldn't have that many gimmicks or tricks or anything to make it all that special, it would have the element of just cool background details. You could see Splatoon characters, different Inklings just running around, interacting with different shops, maybe buying some clothes, buying some shoes, buying some weapons, maybe going up to Krusty Sean's food shack and just buying some good old food, because everyone knows Krusty Sean is the best character in all of Splatoon. I mean, that's just pretty much fact. So seeing all these characters do all this stuff in the background, I think could be good for one section of the stage. Next is Moray Towers. Moray Towers is one that's been in both Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. It's kind of a fan favorite at this point. Uh, and it's got some good stuff that I think would be unique for Splatoon. So first off, it has lots of elevation. Obviously, Moray Towers in Splatoon is all based on elevation. It's got three different levels of buildings and then a main floor down at the very bottom. So it's got a lot of different elevation change and it has gaps where you can fall down and uh, KO uh, inside, you know, in between the different levels. So I think it'd be fun to be able to jump from level to level and maybe, you know, have the danger of accidentally falling through the Cracks in between I think could be cool. It also has ink rails, which I think maybe any player could jump into and automatically ride up. Though, I could see this getting in the way if you're jumping around and you accidentally run into an ink rail and then you just start going up and down. Uh, I feel like that could be a little annoying. But maybe there could be some way that you could do it, like you have to maybe hit it with a move and then you go up automatically, because I don't think you could actually go in and then have, you know, a separate button to jump out. That'd just be annoying, so I think it'd be like a one-way thing. You hit it on one side, you go to the other. You hit it on the other side, you go to the other. So, I think that could be fun, but, you know, maybe not, and they could just take it out if that doesn't really work. Next up is Piranha Pit. This stage is actually not one that I think is all that great in the actual game of Splatoon 1 or Splatoon 2, but I think it could be good for Smash Bros because it has conveyor belts on the floor. Maybe have conveyor belts that are pushing you towards the edge and towards maybe a, you know your own, your own demise. Um, so I think that could be good and just you know having it push you away from other characters I think could be more interesting and unique compared to the other stages in this lineup. Next up is Blackbelly Skate Park or Humpback Pump Track. 
Both these stages have very interesting geometry due to them being both based off of skate parks. And I think they could be very interesting to fight off with the different slopes and things like that. Plus, I just love both of these stages in Splatoon, so I think having them both represented or one or the other would be cool. And lastly, Mahi Mahi Resort. Mahi Mahi Resort was one of my favorite stages in Splatoon 1. Nintendo, why is this not in Splatoon 2? What are you doing? Get on that. Get Mahi Mahi Resort into Splatoon 2. It was one of the best looking stages in Splatoon 1. And I definitely want it in the Smash Brothers stage because it's very unique. It's one of the more uniquely themed levels in Splatoon. And it had the most unique, uh, you know, just aspect of it where it had water everywhere that would lower halfway through the stage so you could ink more turf. I think having that kind of uh, feature in Smash Brothers would be cool. And since inklings get instantly KO'd in water in Splatoon, maybe they could either get instantly KO'd, which I think is a bit overboard, so I think what they probably would do is it's more like lava or poison, so if you go into it, you start taking damage. I think that could be really, really cool and make it unique compared to the other stages. So anyways guys, that's all my ideas for a Splatoon themed stage in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. Obviously we're getting one, as the Inklings are going to be playable, obviously they're going to get a really, really cool stage. But there's so many different options. I only included five different stages that I thought were going to be in there with three honorable mentions. There's plenty of other stages that they could take from. They could even do Shifty Station and have a bunch of different uh, elements from that one and have it change on the fly in that way. I think that's another cool idea that they could do. So there's a lot of things that they could do with the Splatoon stage. Maybe they could even have multiple stages that incorporate a lot of different ideas I talked about in this video. Anyways guys, thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think of all these ideas down in the comments below. Let me know what stages you would love to see represented in a Splatoon stage in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this Monday through Saturday. Make sure this Saturday we're going to be doing a charity live stream for St. Jude's. Children's Research Hospital, so make sure to be there. Bring your wallets, bring your friends. We're uh, sure to raise a bunch of money for a great cause. Also, make sure to like and share this video so more people can see it. And I'll see all of you guys later on What About Nintendo. Bye!